all right so in last two sessions we have discussed about the workflows right so did everybody revised uh, uh, do you have any questions in the last uh, last two sessions that are related to workflows any questions on what we have learned on workflows from anyone or are we good to continue to the in-depth knowledge in the workflows Yeah, good to continue session. Okay, thanks for the confirmation, Srikan. So let's continue. So we learned that on a workflow there are two important elements where we can have a number of statuses. It might be to do, in progress, done, completed, in development, in review, or it might be any status uh, that we have seen. So the status will be in the box where we can see the name of the status. It might be anything like I told just now. Maybe to do in progress and few others. And also we have learned that we do have the connections in between the trans uh, statuses, right? And we can call those connections as transitions. Either it might be the single direction or it might be bi-direction. It completely be customized as per the project needs so if I see the arrow mark in this way we can say anyone can move the issue from to do status to in progress and from in progress they cannot move the issue back to to do it is because there is no transition from in progress back to to do so in Jira we can even make a use of the by direction so all we have to do is from in progress we can drag and drop the transition to to do so that the user can go to and forth either from to do to in progress or in progress to to do now in today's session we are going uh, a little bit in depth in the workflows where we are going to talk about what should happen when an issue is moving or transitioning from one status to another status it might be to do to in progress or if, if there is any other status we can talk about the transition in between now we clearly know that there will be some four to five different functionalities that we can see on the transition right like we do have validators conditions post functions uh, triggers and even properties now let's talk let's talk about any one topic let's pick one of the topic called validators all right we have understand what exactly the validator on a workflow transition like in casual terms right for example let me give one of the use case and then we directly jump into jira and we perform that particular activity now maybe in one of the project it might be anything so we will be getting the requirement something like when the issue is transitioning from to do to in progress All right. So when the issue is a transitioning from to do to in progress, some field should not be empty. So it might be a custom field or it might be a system field. So let's take the common easy thing that I can tell is the description field should not be empty. So for example, in one of the project, maybe we can pick some uh, project name and then we can pick some issue type name. So on that particular workflow, once the issue has been created and has been assigned to someone, they will be started to work, right? So when the assignee or maybe when anyone on that particular ticket, when they click on the in progress status button, once they start working on that particular issue, the Jira should validate the description field. So Jira will get into the description field on that particular issue. If the description field is completely empty, some error message will be popped up stating that you must fill the description field so that the user will fill the description field it's not just the description it might be any custom field 
so we do have one of the validator called field required validator so in any such scenarios where we do not want to pass the status from one to another without having the uh, value field then we can make a use of the field required validator so if there is a value field in the description field no issues the issue will be transitioned directly to in progress and always remember when we are making a use of the validator the user will always be able to see the destination status they can see the in progress status when they click on it then jira will validate and then based upon the validator that we have placed here either the status will transition or maybe the user will see the error message and let's pick one of the project um, game developers this time and then let's click on project settings and then let's step directly to the workflows all right so in the game developers project each and every issue type is making and use of the single workflow so just imagine in this particular project for each and every issue type we need to fulfill this requirement whenever the user is transitioning the issue from to do to in progress the a description field should always be filled with some information so it is before let me click on create game developers task testing description field now it is empty right so let me click on create so i can see the description field is empty and let me click on create an issue has been created and let me open the issue all right so at this particular place whenever someone is trying to click on in progress then definitely there should be some value field in the description field if there is no value the transition should not happen if there is some value it might be dot abc or it might be any information related to the issue then the issue needs to be transitioned from to do to in progress so let me click on in progress as we can see the issue has been transitioned to in progress but still the description value is not filled and it is completely empty so in organizations there might be various cases where the project leader or the project admin or the scrum master want some of the fields to be filled some value at one particular transitions it might be of any reason so now it is the time for us to keep a validator on that particular transition so the scrum master or the project lead will raise the request to the jira admin team so as a jira admin we have to perform the activity so that the project people will be working on their issues so let's navigate directly back to the workflows page of the game developers and then for all the issue types so all we have to do is to click on the edit button so that we can edit the workflow and also before we do any kind of activities on the workflows we have to make sure that the project is being shared by like the workflow is being shared by only one project and if it is being shared by multiple projects we have to be very careful because the changes will be impacted to all the projects and also just give me one moment let me see if we can add the transitions onto the software simplified workflow let me have a look yeah now this is the workflow that we have for the project game developers when the issue is transitioning from to do to in progress so on the in progress transition we need to add the validator and one more thing even from done to in progress there is a transition mark so in organizations if we have this kind of scenario we can directly reach out 
uh, to the appropriate person who have raised the ticket stating that even from done the user will be able to make the transition back to in progress so even at that particular time the description field should be filled with some information and that is what we have to convey if we see the global transitions but probably in the organization we do not see the global transition all we can see the transition something like this one the customized workflow where we have created but i want everyone to understand just the concept so we can add the condition or the validated or the post functions on the appropriate transitions so on the in progress transition i want to add a validator so as soon as i click on the transition a box has been opened and i can see the name of it and here we can add anything it might be properties conditions validators or post functions now on the in progress transition i want to click on validator and before that a quick example just like how i click on in progress if i click on done there will be the same options which will be applicable only to the done status and when i click on to do the same options will be popped up and it will be applicable only to this particular status so we have to make sure that we have selected the appropriate transition where we would like to add the validators so once we choose the appropriate transition let's click on the validators a new tab has been opened and it clearly defines from and to destinations and the name of the transition so from to do and from done whenever the issue is being transitioned to in progress the validator needs to be validated so let's add the validator currently there are zero validators on this particular transition so let me click on add validator so jira has given multiple validators by default so based upon the requirement we can choose the appropriate validators and on the description if you go through it after the class you will be understanding some of the validators just by reading why we are making and use of that particular validator and in our sessions we see the most important other common ones where we use in the organizations mostly much often now coming back to the paint i have mentioned the term field required validator so i can see the field required validator the field must not be empty during the transition it means the description field must not be empty during the transition or maybe any custom field must not be empty during the transition so by clicking on the appropriate validator name if i click on add the very second step is it will ask me all right you do not want the field to be empty so what is the name of the field and here is the place based upon the requirement we can choose the appropriate field name and in our scenario it is going to be the description field so i enter the value and i have selected the field called description and then we have to add the error message and it's completely optional if we do not add jira will populate some default error message but the thing is that whenever the user clicks on in progress status if the value of the description field is not filled i want to populate some custom error message to the user who clicked on the in progress status he can directly uh, get the error message right below the screen in this part on the view issue screen so maybe i can say please fill the description field so that whenever he sees such error he will understand why the issue is not transitioning to in progress and then he fill the description field and then let me click on add now as we can see whenever someone clicks on in progress there is a validator if a value for field description is not provided during the transition then please fill the description error message will be populated on that particular screen and we have successfully added the validator and the most important thing in the workflows whenever we make some changes in order for the changes to be saved we have to click on publish draft only then the validator will be saved and if i click on close tab button 
then whatever the changes that we make it will always remain in the draft and cannot be applicable so after we make any changes in the workflow it is very much important for us to publish it for each and every time that we click on publish the jira will populate one of the box where it will tell that you have made one change or two changes or maybe 10 changes in the workflow so before you publish the changes would you like to take the same backup copy of the pre-workflow like before you touch the workflow how it is exactly so would you like to take the backup copy of that so that just in case if you feel whatever the changes that you have made in the workflow if you feel it is not right then you can make a use of the old workflow if we really want to make the backup copy we can click on this then it will be saved in the global workflows page then we can enter the backup workflow name here but i clearly know that i have made only one change in the workflow only i have added the validator and i clearly know that the requirement that i have added is very much simple and very much correct so i do not want to save any backup copy so i can click on no and i can directly click on publish now I can clearly see the draft workflow is now active which means on the in progress there is a validator that we have added. So now it is the time for us to give a try. So in the project game developers it might be any issue type. Let me test the description field. Testing the description field. It is empty at the moment. it needs to be filled in order to transition the issue to in progress status a state anything would be fine now i want to leave the description field empty for testing purpose and let me click on create an issue has been created and let me open the issue all right before when i click on to do to in progress the transition was happened now in the back end we have added the validator so now let me click on in progress and let's see what will happen so as soon as i click on in progress the transition was not happened i clearly see there is an error message transition failed please fill the description field so whatever the custom error message that we have mentioned in the back end in the workflow validator page the same validator error message that i can see here so anybody who works on the issue when they tries to click on in progress the same transition failed error message will be popped up so that the user do not miss such field value and then they will be entering some value that is relevant to their issue and then when they click on save now that there is a value in the description now i want to move the issue from to do to in progress so that the issue will be successfully transitioned from any status to in progress because the jira will validate it will go to description and it will see there is some value field here so the transition will happen successfully and this is how we can make and use of the field required validator on a jira workflow and now before having a look at the second example let me open wordpad All right, let me go to the workflow and let me do the quick page refresh. All right, since we have published the changes in the second tab and we have closed the second tab, right? The very first tab, whenever we do the refresh, it will directly show some error. So do not worry about the error. 
either you can go to global workflows page and find the workflow and open or maybe you can go back to the project and then you can navigate to the same workflows page so that you can open the workflow and let me click on the workflows option and let me click on the edit button and from the text mode the diagram mode will be much easier to review so let me switch over and then now let me click on validator and let's observe what are the different validators we have in Jira. Not every validator is much important but if we know the use cases of two or three then we can explore the remaining by our own. Now when I click on to do I can see zero validators. When I click on done I can see zero validators but when I click on in progress I can see one validator. It is because that we have added the validator on the in progress status or the transition. Now if I want to add multiple validators on a particular transition, the path would be same and all we have to do is to click on add validator. And there are multiple validators, if maybe if you want to compare two dates during a workflow transition, for example, it might be any project if there are two, two dates and if you want to compare something between the two dates, we can make and use of the validator. In the same way we do have few other things, let's see some of the important thing are the very easy thing that you can understand in the very beginnings. And this is one of the example that I always pick, one is the field required validator and the second one is multi select field has no more than one value during the transition. Because when we are good with the basics then we can explore little bit on the remaining validators. In the beginning, all we have to understand why we exactly make and use of the validator and what is the purpose and maybe some two easy examples, then we will be getting some kind of perfection when we are talking about the validator. If we try to go with a complex one, then it might be a tough challenge to even understand the fundamentals. Now we do have one of the validator called field has single value validator. And the description it states multi select field has not more than one value during the transition. Alright, so imagine that there is a multiple uh, select field. For example, let me go to Jira in another page. Let me click on create. Not the game developers, but I want to choose. some other project where we have added some values to it. Let me find the right example. Alright. So in the Hyundai project for the issue type services there is one of the field called parts to be serviced. And it is a multi-select field. Imagine that the users, maybe they are choosing multiple values for this, but for some reason the project lead would not want their team members to choose multiple values for this particular field on a particular transition. So we cannot go and tell each and every member the instructions like you have to choose only one value, not more than one. So if we want to do such kind of restriction instead of reaching out or maybe instead of correcting the team members when they are doing errors, we can add the validator so that if they perform or if they do any mistake while filling out the information or while choosing the values, some error message will be populated. So based upon that the users will understand and then they will be correcting at the same time so that we can make a use of the validator called field has single value validator. Now let's take this particular parts to be serviced field as an example. So in order to do that we have to navigate to the Hyundai project workflow section. So let me close all the unnecessary tabs and in the new tab let me navigate to the Hyundai project and let me click on project settings. And now let's navigate to the workflows page and here let's find the workflow that is related to services and then we have to make the changes. 
but always remember if i touch the services issue type workflow then it will be impacted to all the issue types so real quick what i want to do i want to take the copy of this particular workflow in the global level and then i will be renaming it to hyundai services workflow then second step i'll make and use of this particular workflow scheme and then i will map the services issue type to the newly copied workflows so that we will be getting the individual workflow only for the services issue type and then we can add the validator as per the requirement so first step number one let me take the copy of the existing workflow and then in the new tab let me directly navigate to the global workflows page and i was landed in the global workflows page control f and control v i found the workflow currently using by the services issue type in the hyundai project since it is being shared by other issue types as well i want to take the exact copy of the replica and then i want to rename the workflow for the hyundai project i have given the project key and it's going to be for the issue type called services and it is going to be a workflow so let me take the copy the workflow copy has been taken now it will be in the inactive state because it is not mapped to any workflow scheme or to any project now step number 2 i want to now navigate to the workflow schemes page either i can find the project name directly if not i can go back to the project workflow page i can take the copy of the workflow scheme name if i'm really confused or if i have hundreds of project in my organization control f and control v we can directly pull the workflow scheme being used by the hyundai project so for this particular workflow scheme we want to map the services issue type with the newly copied workflow currently including the services issue type all the other unassigned issue types like epic story bug and task subtask making a use of the software simplified workflow and now i click on the add workflow where we have already seen the same thing in last two sessions so let me click on add existing and then let's choose the workflow that we have taken the copy which is hyundai services workflow and let me click on next and i want to map this particular hyundai services workflow to the issue type called services and let me click on finish now as we can see for the services issue type we do have an individual workflow which is as similar to the software simplified workflow and now like i have already told you we always have to publish the workflow if not it will be remain as a draft and the changes will not be saved now let me click on associate and let me do the quick page refresh let me click on acknowledge all right now the workflow has been published coming back to the project page let me do the quick page refresh all right now i clearly see the services issue type is making and use of its own workflow so now i can add the condition i can add the validator i can add anything to this particular workflow and it will not be impacted to any other issue types so now let me click on edit and now it is in the text mode so let me switch over to the diagram mode now imagine when the issue is transitioning from in progress let's pick the same transition and then i want to add the validator so i have clicked on the validator i can confirm it in the same page again the destination is in progress and from all the other statuses let me click on add validator and let's pick field has single value validator validator let me click on add now it is the time where we have to choose what field that we are talking about and in the very first page we are talking about the field multi select field called parts to be serviced so let me take the copy of the name and let me come back to the validated page so let me search for the field and then let me enter the field and click on add 
all right now the validator clearly stating that whatever the field that you have chosen it is a multi select field where the user now can select more than one value right they can either choose two values three values four values or five values now the validator is stating that the parts to be serviced should not have more than one value which means when an user selected more than one value in the field automatically an error message will be populated it means even though they do have the flexibility to choose multiple values as per the field functionality if they choose more than one an error message will be populated so that the users will be permitted only to choose one value when they are transitioning the issue from any status to in progress now let me click on publish draft and let me click on no i do not want to save any backup and the workflow has been public published and it is now active now it is the time to click on create where we can test the parts to be serviced field in the services issue type so let me note down this summary testing parts to be serviced field and in the description let me enter something users are user now the assignee should be able to select only a single field or a single value in parts to be serviced field if they choose a select multiple values in parts to be serviced field and error message will be popped up all right so now let me choose multiple values here i have chosen a selected four different values in the parts to be serviced and there are some mandatory fields where we need to choose so let me fill if there are any mandatory fields and then let me click on create now the issue is from the create to the very first status but not to in progress now there are four different values that has been entered in the parts to be serviced field so let me click on create no error popped up an issue has been created successfully now currently there are four different values so from to do let me click on in progress and let's see what jira will do what the validator will do as soon as i click on in progress the transition failed there is a direct message for the validator stating that parts to be serviced field should not have more than one value so the user will have a look at that particular field and he will identify that there are four different values was entered so only when the user uses single value in this multi select field the validation will pass so that the issue will be transition from to do to in progress so let me click on to do and let me click on in progress so at that particular transition for some reason the project admin or the scrum master would like the users to make a use of only one value in the parts to be serviced so this is how we can make a use of the multi select validator on a workflow transition and also it completely varies from the requirement to requirement either they can make a use of the same multi select validator on each and every transition in the workflow or maybe on a particular workflow transition it might be anything the requirement will be given by any project people from any project as the jira admin it is our job only to go to the necessary workflow and to add the validator properly if there are any um, shared projects or shared issue types being used by that particular workflow as a jira admin we have to take the copies and then we have to map it individually then we have to make the changes accordingly so i want everyone 
just to have a look at the validators what are the different validators that we have in Jira and I want everyone to make a note of maybe two or three different validators of what you have understand and you will be getting the clear documentation even in Jira if, even in online sources if you type the validator you will be getting what exactly it can do in Jira so it will be much easier and when you make a note of all these things in your notebook or maybe in the notepad it will be very much useful when you get into the job if someone comes and asks like have you worked on the validators or what exactly the validator means you will be able to tell what the validator is and you will be able to give some two to three different examples to them so in order for you to be confident if you make a note today that would be much easier tomorrow all right now the validator has been completed now just like the validator everything would be same there is the second functionality that we have in Jira is conditions when the issue is transitioning from one state a status to another status we can either the validator in the same way in parallel we can even add the condition so now the very important question in any of the interview if the interview is going little bit basic they clearly will ask what is the difference between a condition and a validator now even we have observed that I think uh, Mahendra was using the term condition when he was explaining about the validator it is because when we have to talk about the validator we need to use some words like conditions or something so people will often confused between the difference between the validators and conditions so that's going to be one of the interview questions that we get in most of the interviews so what exactly is a validator and what exactly is a condition so in very simple terms i'll write few of the differences and then we'll have a look at one of the condition in today's session based upon the time that we get Just give me one moment. All right. So, for example, that we have make and use of the field required validator, and the second we have choose multi select validator. So each and every time, whenever we added the validator, while we are testing on the view issue screen we clearly see the in progress status button right and when we click on this particular status then only jira will validate if we pass the validation then the issue will be transition and if we fail the validation the jira will populate an error message so that we can rectify and then we can make the transition now that is what the validator is and coming to condition just like the validator we do have conditions that are a little bit different so it might be any condition just like how do we add the validator we can add the conditions as well so when we add the condition maybe we do have few of the conditions in which every time i used to pick uh, one of the good condition as an example in the beginnings only the assigning should be able to do the transition now imagine in the project Hyundai in the issue type services there is a workflow right where we can move the issue from to do to in progress if each and every person in the Jira or maybe each and every person in the team if they do have the issue key and if they access the view issue page 
even though if they are not the assignee if they click on in progress the issue will be transitioned right and that should not be done so in most of the organizations people will use multiple conditions on the workflows and one of the condition is only the assignee should be able to do the transition so whenever the project lead or the project admin or the scrum master have assigned one of the issue to the team member in the assignee field they will be filling up who needs to be worked on that particular issue so that if we make a use of this particular condition onto that workflow except the assignee no other person will be able to do the transition so that the condition will be like I, uh, in order to tell the difference in the condition the users will not be even able to see the next status button if they do not meet the appropriate condition criteria if i am the assignee i can see in progress so when i click on it automatically the issue will be transitioned imagine the issue has been assigned on srikant's name and i'm also a team member but i somehow access the issue key and i was on the view issue screen now and i just want to move the issue from to do to in progress since there is a condition called only the assignee should be able to do the transition now i am not the assignee of that particular issue so i will not be even able to see the in progress status button at all since i am not the assignee i can directly see something like you do not have permissions to do the transition so only if i am the assignee of the issue i will be able to see the status if i am not the assignee i will not be even able to see the status button at all and that is one of the example that we can talk about validators and conditions and then we can make a use of the field validator va uh, example when we are talking about the validators and then we can talk about only the assignee should be able to do the transition when we are talking about the condition and if we talk about these two points the interviewer will totally accept and then he will understand that you really have good understanding about how the validators and conditions will work in jira so without delaying we do left with 7 minutes not an issue we complete this particular condition in today's session so coming back to jira all right now let me quickly create one of the ticket testing assignee field and let me click on create there are some fields that are mandatory on the cre uh, create issue let me fill them and let me click on create and let me open the issue now at the moment i am not the assignee and this work whatever has given in the fields are not belong to me but still when i click from to do to in progress the transition was happened when i click from in progress to test or maybe to done the transitions are happening in reality i am not the assignee at all and in such scenarios the project leads and the scrum master will definitely would like to implement the conditions where only the assignee should be able to perform these transitions so they reach out to the jira admins and the jira admins should add the condition on to the appropriate transition or to all the transitions as per the requirement so in today's session instead of adding the same condition on all the transitions i want to take one of the condition as an example so directly let me click on project settings let me navigate to the workflows and we are talking about the issue type called services let me click on edit and then from the text mode let me switch over to the diagram mode we can we have to add the conditions on all the transitions then the assignee will only be able to perform all the transitions if we add only on the one particular status then for the remaining anyone will be able to do the transitions so in our example i want to pick only one and the remaining we can replicate the same by doing the same activity multiple times so on the in progress transition i want to add the conditions so instead of clicking on the validator we can click on conditions so at the moment there are totally zero conditions 
So let me click on conditions. Currently there are no conditions on the transition called in progress. So let me add the condition by clicking on add condition button. And there are multiple conditions that we have in Jira. Out of which one of the common condition is only assignee condition which means condition to allow only the assignee to execute the in progress transition. So let me click down, click on add button. As we can see whenever someone is transitioning the issue from any status to in progress only if he is the assignee he will be able to see the next status in progress and if he is not the assignee he will not be able to see it so let me click on publish draft click on no publish and also in order to avoid confusions I quickly would like to replicate the same for all the transitions it do not take much time so even on the test transition I want to add even on the done I want to add and even on the to do I want to add let me click on edit the workflow again and on the test click on condition add condition and I want to add only assignee condition and then I want to publish the draft I do not want to save the workflow let me click on publish and again switch over to diagram mode now I want to even add on the done transition each and every time if I am not able to edit the workflow it is because the workflow is not in edit mode so we have to click on edit button and then let me click on done transition click on condition the same step add condition only assign a condition and let me click on add and we want to publish the draft we do not want to save the workflow let's click on publish all right coming to the diagram mode and i do not want to add the condition on the to do because whenever someone is creating he will not be the assignee right he might be the scrum master which might be the reporter so just forget about the to do status uh, the to do transition let's talk about only the remaining transitions now let me click on create testing assignee field and I want to assign this particular ticket to Cecile so let me come down and here in the assignee let me assign it to Cecile and the Jira admin 09 is the reporter. We need to fill some value to the date of booking since it is mandatory. Let me click on create. An issue has been created. Now I have logged in as Jira admin 09. And currently the assignee of this particular issue is Cecil. So let me try to move the status from to do to in progress are to done are to the test and when I see or when I click on the status button I do not even able to see the remaining statuses but when I click on view workflow I will be able to see that there are done test and in progress statuses being displayed it is because since I do not met the condition criteria even though I am the reporter of this issue I will not be able to move the transition and only Cecile will be able to move the transition and maybe imagine that if I click on assign to me now the issue has been assigned on my name Jira admin 09 and I have logged in as Jira admin 09 now if I am the assignee of this particular issue then definitely I will be able to see the next statuses so that people can easily track who is the assignee and who have worked on this particular issue and the other person apart from the assignee can never be able to work on the issues.